City, where the strip is packed and the pools bring the heat. I'm the oldest one here! But read the signs the tables have turned as all eyes at this casino are on the games. We got money on Arkansas and we got money on your veins. Circa Hotel and Casino bet its success on the books. Building a three-story indoor-outdoor sports betting playground. 953 in the over. And judging by the crowd on a Saturday in September, they are winning. And we built this because we kind of knew people love sports betting. Derek Stevens is the CEO. Everybody just has a lot more fun if they have a little skin in the game. So how much money changes hands on a day like today? Well, we're, right now we're, we're looking at about $5 million so far. 20,000 people a day, millions in bets, and most say they're here for the atmosphere. And that's enough to get me involved, and then I watch it for three hours. Most people prefer to come in and actually watch the game and bet. The atmosphere, the crowd. But what happens here in Vegas may not stay in Vegas anymore, as tribal casinos want a piece of the action and your vote to bring sports betting to California. The Changa Casino near Temecula has the slots ringing. 1340 times five. Woo! And the bets stacked at the tables. But Proposition 26 would allow tribal casinos like this one and horse racing tracks to take in-person bets on sporting events. It adds a, an X factor when, you know, there's a big game on. Mark Macaro is the tribal chairman of the Bachanga Band of Indians, one of 30 California tribes supporting Prop 26, which will not only allow sports betting, but dice games like roulette and craps as well. A retail model of sports betting has about 3% net profit to the bottom line. Um, it's, it's not a big business, not a big money maker, uh, but it does add energy, it adds excitement to the floor. But saying yes to 26 isn't enough for you guys. You also want voters to say no to 27. Yes, they're mutually exclusive. Proposition 27, if approved, would allow sports betting online through gaming apps and websites. That would be a disaster, we think, for Indian gaming. And possibly the reservation. So how many acres do you guys have then? 7,500. Because for many tribal communities, gambling is no game. It's supporting our community, it's supporting everything about our community. Since it is run by a sovereign tribal nation, the Pachanga Casino doesn't have to report the amount of money it generates on the floor or makes a year. But we know in the last 20 years, those profits have supported the reservation with a dual language school, security, recreation, and infrastructure that was decades behind. Tribal gaming has really turned these things around, has turned that condition around where we've been able to ourselves fund uh, uh, construction of water systems, storage tanks, delivery systems, transmission lines, pumps. And I don't think it's a secret to anyone that the tribal communities have kind of been left behind. Do you think that casinos have helped bridge that gap? Absolutely. It's allowed us to jump start and, and skip a few decades or catch up. This tribe even bought back sacred land and lost in treaties and built its first fire station in 1996, a year after it started gaming, and a fire ravaged the reservation. It destroyed eight homes on the reservation, one off the reservation, because the response time was five miles away and 25 minutes in time away. Thanks to gaming funds, they now staff two fire stations around the clock. But is Prop 26 good for the rest of the state? So is it fair to say that you think that sharing a piece of the gambling pie would hurt your ability to stay independent and take care of your community? It's, it's not only fair to say, it's, it, that's factual. If the flow of patrons to our facilities were to suddenly stop or diminish as a result of mobile gaming coming to the picture, as a result of uh, Prop 27 being passed, um, that's really our biggest fear. A wager tribal casinos don't want to lose, as they say Prop 26 is the better bet for them and California. Joy Benedict, CBS News, Los Angeles.